Welcome back on tonight's eye opener, spring break safety. I want you to take a look at the shot right now, this young woman leaving a bar in Daytona Beach, Florida during spring break. Why is this such a big risk to her safety? Well, here's a hint. Just think back to the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, who left her friends at a bar during a high school trip to Aruba last year. And more recently, the murder of a New York City graduate student who left her friend while bar hopping. We sent our cameras to Daytona Beach, Florida to capture young women on spring break, many of them completely unaware that what they were doing could get them into big trouble, especially when alcohol is involved. Here's Ted Rollins with tonight's eye opener. It's a rite of passage, college kids from around the country heading south to party together in the sun. For most students, hangovers and sunburns are the most feared elements. But for female spring breakers, possible danger lurks everywhere. Each year, our crisis center will see several females who come in. They're unable to describe a course of events that led up to what they feel was a, was a sexual assault. According to police, many times young women are assaulted by men that they've just met partying. The combination of alcohol, aggressive behavior by men, and relative anonymity create a dangerous environment. It's heartbreaking, and not only that, but they have to they go home with it to their families, and uh, we're left with um, you know very little information to go on. We really have to hold ourselves accountable for what happens to us. 28-year-old Erin Weed has dedicated her life to helping college-aged women stay safe. Five years ago, she founded the female empowerment organization, Girls Fight Back, after one of her best friends, Shannon McNamara, was murdered on an Illinois college campus. Erin's most important advice for girls on spring break, look out for your girlfriends, because sometimes we can't look out for ourselves. In those situations, we gotta look out for each other. These girls go to school in Wisconsin. They're spending the week in Daytona Beach, Florida. Typical spring breakers, they spend their days on the beach and their nights partying at local bars, all while piling into a single hotel room. Kyle, Emily, Nicole, and Mallory allowed a CNN producer to go along with them and videotape a night out. At the beginning of the night, all of the girls are together, drinking, dancing, and talking to boys. But about two hours later, watch what happens. Mallory, without telling any of her friends, leaves the club with two men she barely knows. It's 11.30 p.m. and she's been drinking since noon. Eventually, the other girls end up leaving as well, not knowing where Mallory has gone. Finally, they get a hold of her back at the hotel. She's outside. How's the party? She'll be here in a minute. You know what I know? Mallory is back. Don't put that on tape! What was the only man? Mallory says she lost her friends at the club and the boys simply gave her a ride. But at 1 a.m., Mallory left her friends again. While the others stayed at the hotel, she heads to a beach bar to continue partying. It's not I ended up till about 3 in the morning. So. <laughs> the next day, we gathered the girls together to watch video from the night before with safety expert Aaron Weed there to analyze what happened. All right, let's just watch a little bit, just general stuff. You guys are out, obviously having fun. This is what spring break is all about. Aaron, it seems like they're just having a fun time. Yeah, I mean, that's spring break. I think if they stick together and have a good time, then, then that's probably the most important thing. One of my number one rules is go out with your girlfriends, go home with your girlfriends. That rule was... Um broken a little bit last night. Aaron and the girls agree the decision by Mallory to leave the bar alone with two men she didn't really know is a cause for concern. I knew it wasn't good that I lost and I was not very happy about it, but I didn't know what else to do. There's no doubt about it, you're taking a risk and I'm sure she probably took that risk knowing the situation. I mean, it's definitely not something I condone because sticking with her friends is probably the most important thing. <laughs> My two drinks Aaron's advice to girls on spring break, stick with or check in with friends, monitor your drinking, decide well beforehand if you plan to have sex, and trust your instincts. 
Overall, Aaron told the girls that their biggest mistake was splitting up because in that environment, when you are alone, she says anything can happen. While the girls from Wisconsin made it home okay, that same night that we met them, there was an assault in town down the street from where they were staying at this hotel. An 18-year-old girl was beaten up by a 19-year-old boy. Both of them were here on spring break. According to the police report, witnesses say Dennis Skalski wandered into an unlocked room next to him where two girls were staying. He then beat up one of the girls because he was upset she didn't want his phone number. He got aggressive with one of them uh, to the point where he was holding her neck and um, he uh, bruised her. Uh, she, her nose is uh, broken. <laughs> 74% of women surveyed by the American Medical Association said while on spring break, they used alcohol as an excuse for outrageous behavior. The experts say this usually ends up to be harmless, but in some unfortunate situations, it can be tragic. Ted Rowland, CNN, Daytona Beach, Florida. And one women's health expert says sexual assault complaints seem to double this time of year. She also cautions young women to beware of date rape drugs being slipped into their drinks.